Ah. Logan, Logan. Fat pumpkin looking ish and oh. Get away, they're get they're away. not trying to hurt it. They're not. It's okay. cute my sweater looks okay so hi guys today we are here at the Dallas North Aquarium and we are gonna be getting chubby goldfish why because Brenton doesn't have any other content to film ah. no, get, no, get, no. all right I made the executive decision that I wanted some like pumpkin sized goldfish you can't see her but she's there we're, we're in some some fluffy goldfish so if you guys aren't fish keepers this is a fish tank and that's Victoria she's around me so much that she's actually starting to understand what some fish stuff means like ammonia and water <laughs> changes and flat Power horns. Yeah. Look at you. I have a little TikToker. Look at this tank. You can't look at this and be like, yeah, I, I wouldn't want one of these because I like this. Like, this is sick. And believe it or not, these plants right here, they look real, but they're fake. We got some Nemo's over here, Nemo. also known as what type of fish? Clownfish. I was gonna tell you, but you got it. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. So I'm showing her the cheeked up goldfish. A bunch of people told me I gotta come get these. Double cheeked up. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, these are these are the goldfish with the really fat eyeballs. So the goldfish that we're trying to, oh my, fat pumpkin looking ish and oh. You gotta admit, they're cute, right? So here is what we're gonna be choosing from later, that guy. That one back there. Yeah. These ones are more likely to breed. I think we're gonna move some of my goldfish in the tank right now, outside of the outdoor pond. That way we can free up some room for some of these bigger guys because yes, the tank is too small for them, but that's not the point. We're not trying to give them a forever home. We're just trying to give them some space to breed. We're trying. What are we doing? Trying it. What type of fish? A goldfish. <laughs> All right, there's some silver dollars in here. They got quite a bit of stuff. We'll run through it just real quick. Oh, look, Valentine's Day. Red and white is really cute. I've seen these in a bunch of places and a lot of fish very similar to them. Wow, that is cute. Look at this. What type of fish is that? Flower horn. <laughs> My little TikToker. <laughs> but yeah, no, that is this, that's a really cool flower horn. This is where I got mine a long, long time ago. So yeah, like I was saying, I've seen a bunch of these fish everywhere. They're pretty cool though. I guess they're like in season. I don't oh, know. This is from like a chip. <laughs> a chip? <laughs> I guess you're right. It is like a chip. Hello. What are you? Uh -huh. Look at them. That'd be really cool for the big tank. I actually, I don't know what type of fish that is. And I want a small Oscar. I haven't had a, a tiny Oscar in a while. I like this one. That's a, another Oscar. That's an albino and that's a tiger. That but, means the albino one's going to be expensive. Oscar? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh my gosh, get away from it. Get away from it. It doesn't want you to touch it. Watching Victoria try and protect <laughs> the fish on the outside of the tank. Get away, they're, get they're away. They're not trying to hurt it. They're not, it's okay. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four. I think we can choose from. Should we just get all four? Uh, how much are they? Oh wow, $60. $120 in goldfish. Okay, so can I get this guy right here? And then, was it that other one back there? I think it was that one back there. Get on him. Aw, that thing is so cool. That's a really nice goldfish. That is perfect. Yeah, that is all we'll get. Appreciate it, boss. $60 a goldfish. So uh, don't get into the extra large goldfish breeding. Start out small and let them grow. I spent $200 on goldfish, rare goldfish. Yeah, those are, those are stupid expensive. But you know what? We're gonna free up some space for them and then we're gonna make them make babies. <sighs> That's a little cloudy, eh? It's a little foggy. Oh, this is like a tank for you. Well, $130 later, if we bought like 50 goldfish or $130, like that's okay. But like the fact that I bought two goldfish. God. So uh, yeah, so if you guys wanna be able to support me, you can go to thefanaticbrand.com and cop all of the new merchandise. We actually took a photo shoot yesterday. All right, let's do this. All right. Oh my goodness, here's the big boys. There she is, look at her go. So if you guys didn't know, my little tank has an app, so all we do is connect. Wait a second, she is moving, look at her. Look at her go. So like I was saying, this tank is a little bit smaller, but this isn't like a forever home for the goldfish. The forever home is probably gonna be the pond outside for them, because I really want to start like making that like a little community of colorful fish. Did you guys see me? Yeah, I want to attempt to see if I can get them to breed in here, because I, I've, obviously you guys love the breeding videos. We've got some smaller ones in here, I'm gonna grow them out. It takes a long time to do that. But these bigger ones are more likely to breed. So we're gonna put them in here and see within the next month or two if we can make anything happen. Okay, we took our thumbnail. So grab them. Hopefully it doesn't overflow. It's okay, it's okay. You can't, you can't, you can't get down there. And then it's definitely gonna overflow on one of these sides. Just let it go. Oh my, look how close the water is to the top of the tank from overflowing. <laughs> All right, so now, yeah, we just gotta give them, how long are you gonna, how long do you think? Five. No, we'll, we'll do 15. <laughs> Three days later. All right, so now that we have our bucket from 1948, um, <laughs> and a spider. Where is it? Oh, oh. <laughs> Let's grind the spider. Gosh, these things are, they're actually extra large, if you didn't know. It might just be better. Here we go, over here. 
So that was really gentle. Oh my goodness, that is such a pretty oh, fish. Oh, it's like it's little babies. This is the one that everybody at the store was actually upset that I was taking. And they were upset because they said it was such a pretty fish and they didn't want to see it go. So I guess it's good that we got this one. That's rude to the other fish. I'm going to try and not let its slime coat get off as long as my hands are wet. Gosh, it's such a nice fish. You good, buddy? Okay. Oh my goodness. They got a lot of space. Oh, that is so sick. All right, so there, both of them are right there, but you can see that is their tank. And it's like these are its little children. <laughs> So now that we got the two big ones in, we're going to take the little ones out. It's because the, the big ones, they need their space. Where are they going to go? We're going to put them into the pond outside. Because you caught them. Yeah. <laughs> got you. It's our first time catching the fish. <laughs> okay, so now we took, how many did we take out? Like four. Okay. So yeah, we took out a few. So that is the tank now. That's all the fish that are in there and there's no more fish gonna be added. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see, there's a bunch of goldfish in there. I'm gonna set them right there and now that way this water is gonna help them acclimate. But you guys can see these guys are gonna go into the pond with, I don't know if you guys can see the flock of goldfish over there, but they're there and then there's Victoria. So these are gonna be uh, some new types. So they're, they're gonna get a much bigger home. But here in a few months, this is where all of the goldfish are going. It's been a little while since you've seen all the fish in here, the bass, the gar, the koi, the, the Steven, Hi, I see you. All they do though is unplug the pond. You in particular, young lady. I know. And then you just want attention. If you guys aren't following the goats on Instagram or the Fanatic Farm page, follow both of those. They're in the description. Yeah, yeah, hi. Hi. Look at them. Look at them. What are they see what are they doing? But as far as in here goes, I think we're about to do some renovating. Isn't that right, young lady? When we were building this duck pen, I remember saying we were gonna add on. So I think what we're gonna do is right here where this wall is, we're gonna take this chicken wire out in between this two by four and that two by four, and we're just gonna take it out and add on. I think we're just gonna make a kind of like a bigger space over here, which makes room for more aminals. So that's that's good. But it's been long enough, so let's go get the new goldfish into their home. Alright, we're gonna set that net right there. One. And they are in. All right, but all the other fish in the fish room are doing good. As you guys know, we got that new beta right there, which is how good it's doing. Our puffer fish tank, I wish this thing didn't get as dirty. I think the light on it is just really, really strong. Look how big Bubba is. Like, look how big this flower horn is. Like, it looks like an actual, like, pro flower horn now. What are, you, what are you looking at? But a company just sent me this the other day. Not entirely sure what it is. It looks like a wave maker. And I think this goldfish tank would be a good tank to put it in. It's not a big wave maker. It's actually super, super tiny and uh, is controlled off the screen. So I think we're gonna set it up in there. After a solid little while, I think I fit. I think I figured it out. So I think I figured it out. So we're gonna grab this stuff, bring it over here, open up what we got down here. I'm keeping that in because it's recording. <laughs> Okay, this thing is now running. How? I, I, do, I don't necessarily know, but I, I'm guessing I can control a bunch of stuff from here. I don't know what, I don't know what that means. We're just gonna restart. So that's that. I'm guessing that's power and that's all that stuff. I don't know. All I know is it's not a very strong wave maker and it is working. It's, it's pushing some stuff, so that's good. The only hard part is the actual wiring of this thing. Trying to wire it good and it is uh, not the easiest task in the world. Okay, good to go. Goldfish tank done. But the place we're at today is where we got our Jade Gobi. Hi, hi there. Who has been eating fantastic. Just only at night when the light is off and there's our Pleco, so everything's good in there. Like I said, this tank isn't Insane. And the bunny's always good as new. But with everything being said, hopefully you guys went on to enjoy today's video. If you've yet to join my channel, uh, you know, what do you do? Just do it. Don't say that. We ain't sponsored by Nike. But no, so uh, I like those goldfish, and I think they're gonna be like cool, like almost like staples on the channel, just like every other main fish that I get. I mean, they're pretty big, and they look to be they look to be chilling. I'm gonna feed them some really high protein foods, like blood worms and stuff like that, so they're good. But if you wanna join the journey and watch these goldfish make little babies, join it with me. I think we've gotta make the little spawning mop for them next once I see some some interaction tension between them. Like I said, the Fanatic merchandise at thefanaticbrand.com. We've got the Believer line. We've got all that stuff. You guys can go get it. We don't have a Victoria line. Thank God. But no, normally I just I haven't been making outros recently. So yeah.